Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to update you regarding Windows 11, and that is that recently Microsoft has said that they could be lowering those CPU requirements for you to be able to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. Now, as mentioned in a previous video, um, if you have a device that came out before 2017, you most probably won't be able to upgrade um, from Windows 10 to 11, as Microsoft has said that those machines would not meet the um, minimum system requirements for you to be eligible for that free upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. And also originally you would need an Intel 8th generation chipset or newer. And if you had an AMD system, you would need at least the Ryzen 2000 for you to you know, be able to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. And it was also said by Microsoft originally that the seventh generation, um, if you had a seventh generation chip, um, Windows 11 would, would you know, not be supported on your device as well. Therefore, you would not be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, recently Microsoft said it is reconsidering its CPU requirements, and this is based on feedback they will be getting from the Windows Insider program. And they say that they want to test things out first in the Insider program before lower, lowering the uh, uh, minimum CPU requirements. And um, you could then now with the Intel's seventh generation chips and AMD Zen 1 CPUs, they could possibly be supported. But Microsoft wants to um, just check this things out in the Windows Insider program first before, you know, officially um, letting Intel seventh generation chips and AMD Zen 1 CPUs also um, you know, meet, meeting those minimum hardware and system requirements for Windows 11. Now, if we just pop over to Microsoft Docs, and here we can see Windows processor requirements. This was published on the 24th of June, 2021, the same day Windows 11 was announced. And we can just see uh, the processors listed in the tables below represent the latest processor generations and models which are supported for the listed Windows edition. And if we just scroll down to Windows 11, and I have actually mentioned this in a previous video, and what I will do is I will leave a link to this web page um, in the description box below where you can come and check out all the different supported processes that are currently supported to be able to get Windows 11 onto your machine. And then you have the AMD processors, the Intel processors, and then obviously the Qualcomm processors. So just to let you know that if you have an Intel 7th generation uh, chipset or an AMD Zen 1, you might in, in the near future be able to also be upgraded to Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.